with this design what we did in Lightburn is uh, fairly simple I didn't try to get overly complicated here so we have some florals and the roses a couple of tulips and then on the top we have pegasus and a heart so what we're going to try to do here is put some easy cast casting with different colors and put them into here now I know that it might bleed and we don't want the rosin to bleed sideways vertically is okay but sideways it's not so before I start I'm going to go ahead and put uh, just a coat of shellac real quickly inside of the pieces and what that should do is seal it and prevent any sideways movement of the rosin now, I'm not sure that this is going to work but it's 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 from previous experience I've had lots of problems so by putting a coat of sealant in here I hope this will prevent any bleeding downwards or sideways inside of the um, cast that I'm going to be doing over here so the negative part of putting shellac on here is that there's a possibility that the fine ones might break and that would be bad obviously but you know we'll try now I use recycled woods a lot so these particular pieces over here have a finish on them and that's good they'll help prevent any leakage from the rosin but that means I have to sand it off and uh, I never really like to do that okay so that one looks pretty good well, let's just give a real quick coating to these guys now the nice thing about shellac is it dries fairly rapidly and uh, within I say an hour or so I can go ahead and start dorking with uh, the rosin now just give it a good coat of shellac and make sure everything is coated fairly reasonably okay I think that's good for now all right so I'll, I'll clean that up later so what I plan on doing here is this part of the rose will be one color and then I'll have green leaves down here the tulips the same way I'll have the tulips a different color and then this green and with Pegasus my intention is black on the Pegasus and a flaming red or as bright red as I can on his mane and the heart of course is going to be red so I'll let this dry up and then we'll come back and we'll start the epoxy so what we're going to do is we're going to pour just this portion right now and uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is use the easy cast clear casting epoxy and I'm going to use some lavender mica powder uh, for colorant and that should that should work out really nice so the first thing you want to do is let's go ahead and I'm going to cover up what I don't want filled in with the epoxy so if I do that and then cover up this next section over here very carefully and uh, let's see what we got left here we got this section over here okay and then just for the sake of it let's double up on that one okay so all the green areas over here aren't going to be filled in right now I'm going to do that later so I'm just going to burnish this in to make a good seal and uh, that's all I need okay so that will just leave the rose area so I got my mixing cup over here and I'm going to do equal amounts of the hardener and of the rosin and I always like to pour the rosin first so oh this one is tight okay so I'm gonna pour 
Oh, approximately two ounces inside of here. So, got just about that done. And now I'll do the equal amounts. Oh, that's a tight one too. And it's very important that you get as close as possible to the same amount. So, okay, I got that. Uh, let me put the tops back on. I probably got them on the wrong one. That's why they're so tight getting off. Okay, now I'm going to put my colorant in. And for that, I really don't need much. So I'm going to take just a little bit. Oops, that's probably too much. But that's okay. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, and then we'll mix that up really good. And get that all the way down in there. Now you're supposed to do a double mix and what that means is you mix this in for about two minutes over here and get it all in really good then put it into another container and mix that again for two minutes. But what I'm going to do because I generally don't like to do that as much is I'll just scrape everything I can you don't want any anything that's not mixed because otherwise that's going to be a problem for us. So I'm pouring as much as I can over here. I got it all nicely mixed together. And you don't want to do it too fast because if you do it too fast, bubbles form. Even though you can get the bubbles out, you really don't want to do something like that. Okay, so I got my mixture done. It looks fairly good. Got a good thing, and I'll do my pour. Now you just pour in and let it flow. Okay, and you got to be sort of generous, but you don't want to be too generous with it. Okay, and then. And that should be it. Now you can let that go. And I was going to do maybe different colors for the side ones, but uh, I think I'm going to pour the same ones because I got. Yeah, I think I'm going to pour the same same ones. I think that should do pretty good for the tulips. So. I don't have to worry too much here. I should probably put the blockage so that doesn't happen on the in here. So got that. Make sure that's tight. Do that on this one as well. No, I'm gonna put a different color on there. Uh, yeah, I always want it. I wanted that one to be the rose, and then this is going to be separate. So I'm going to go ahead and mix another batch up. Well, I went ahead and I put sort of a reddish color inside of the tulips area over here that you can see. And then for over here, I I put some mica powder that was described as black. Even though it's not quite black, it's sort of a grayish, it, it still should work. So I got the mica gray black here. This is leftovers from the red that I used in the tulip. So all we have to do now is wait for it to dry up a little bit and uh, I'm ready to pour my next set. Now you notice that in this one over here, I'm not sure you can tell, 
is probably a little bit hard to tell but there's a few little bubbles so all you have to do is hit that with a hot uh, hot dryer uh, hair dryer and that should take care of the bubbles in that system so you want to get out that bubbles real quick because if you let them set it's going to look mottled okay we we'll just wait and let that finish um, it's going to take probably a day for it to get to the point where I'm happy to pull off the tape and do the, do the next colors. So all I got left is the greens and the red for the mains. Okay, so a little bit of change. Yesterday I poured the purple and the red and I was waiting for it to set up so we went to the beach um, today I already poured the green and I used the same uh, Mika that I did before except in a green flake so that's the setup with the leaves now today what we're going to do is play around with the main so I wanted the main here to be uh, significantly intense compared to the heart so what I'm going to do is instead of using Mika, I'm going to use liquid colorant. And this works really good and it gives you very, very, very intense colors. So I'm just going to pour that inside my... And you don't need much, but I'm going to want to make sure it's really red today. So you only need a, a drop or two. And that's enough. And let's mix that up and see what we get. So, it doesn't take long before you realize that's a very, very intense red. So, I've got to spend a little bit of time mixing up the colors. Oh yeah, that, that's a nice red. I think that, that should work well. So, let's mix that up a little bit more. Scrape everything from the bottom, fold it over. Don't don't be too rough because you'll get bubbles, and you don't want bubbles. Okay, so now that I got a good pour here, let's let's put it in main. And that should be enough. It's not. Yeah, I can come back and fill it in a little bit more. Okay, and then we'll do this one. And remember, what you put in, you have to take out. So you're going to be sanding this stuff off, and then you just don't really want to have too much. All right, so we got the reds, and maybe I'll. Put a splash more in here, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. I got the red mains now, and everything else is done. So all I need to do is just back off and wait for this to cure. Now patience is the thing. I'm going to wait at least 72 hours. So I'm going to put this, today's Friday, I'm going to put this away. And maybe Tuesday or Wednesday I'm going to come back on it and we'll finish the project. Okay, this is kind of a good news and bad news type of a situation here. So this is the top that I've done. And uh, I hope you'll notice that uh, this isn't perfect. So this heart over here came out okay. But right here, at this point here, you can see that it clearly has a problem. And... The problem that it has at this point here is that there was an air bubble in it. And that's what that is. So we're moving out to here and it looks like the blackish charcoal that I've laid in here worked out really good. Now this is after I sanded the heck out of it. So I started off with 80 grit and then I went to 120 grit. Then I went to 220, 400, 600. 
and then I went to a thousand and then finally two thousand grit so that's what this looks like now so the gray turned out good the red has a problem with it um, remember that this and this had mica this had colorant in it and I think I put in too much colorant uh, in relationship to the amount that I poured so I even though I got a nice solid color the rosin is still a little soft there and it was a nightmare to sand down and in fact I really couldn't sand it down correctly what I had to do is I had to use a chisel and I chiseled as much as I could off and then I sanded and I, I waited two days between each chisel so that the underlying epoxy could have a chance to harden up. I don't think it really ever did and it's not that good. So let's see what it will look like after I'm done with my lacquering because I'm, I'm still not done with this thing yet. So I'm taking some mineral spirits and whoa look at that. Now that's exactly what I intended. A nice glossy charcoal gray black. The red pops out and it really looks good. So properly mixed the epoxy would work out pretty good. Now let's look at the front because I have a problem with the front that I want to show you too. So I'm going to move it over to here and I'm going to go ahead and do the same trick and look at that. Doesn't that pop out really nice? That, that really does look good. So let's look at these problems. Uh, well, there really isn't much except for one thing. If you look right here, there's another air bubble and there's a smaller air bubble here. And yeah, what I could do if I really wanted to was make a small mix of the uh, color and then just put it back in here, wait a couple of days and then go ahead and do it. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. I think uh, I'm pretty well done with this project for now. And then the side is really good too. I don't know if you can see that because my light just went off over here. But that will look really good after it gets finished up. Now this side over here though, it has a lot of problems. Like, look at that. There's, there's holes everywhere here. There's holes here, 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 and here. So uh, I might just go ahead and mix up some of this color and uh, try to fill it in. All right, so the next time that you're going to see me is when I am lacquered and the box is done. So, and we'll get some finals, but boy, that looks good. Well, it's done and uh, it turned out really good. I put in uh, three coats of lacquer on the top. I still may put some uh, coats of spar varnish on here. I haven't decided. The other thing I did is I finished up the leather inserts. So now I have two leather inserts in it as well. I think it looks pretty good. Um, maybe before I put it up for sale, I would put a mirror in it. And maybe I'll even engrave the mirror with either the rose or one of the stallions. So that's the end. Uh, the epoxy kind of worked. I like it. I made mistakes, but I corrected for them. So, except for the red here, which is I'm not happy with, everything else turned out great. So, whether I'm going to try this or not again, I don't know. Um, one of the other things you may have noticed is that I also put in a walnut relief here. I thought it was a little bit bland having maple, 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 everything turned white. So, by having this walnut in here, it kind of contrasted everything. So that's it for now. I hope uh, you learned something. I certainly did. Thank you for watching.